let me just quickly share my screen okay let's start so as I told you uh, this particular session will be uh, uh, we will be starting with motion in one dimension uh, okay I need to find my pen let me find my pen this is what happens every single time I try to open it and uh, the pen doesn't show up uh, okay so let us start uh, I'm gonna ask you a question to begin with uh, so since we are talking with uh, okay, let me just put up my pointer here okay so we are gonna start with motion in 1d right oh my pen is beautiful okay motion in uh, one dimensions okay so motion in a straight line basically we are going to start with this uh, when we go to need uh, the major part is you have extra syllabus compared to what you have studied previously right so in previously you would have studied what is motion motion in 1d and you would have studied equations of motions uh, and uh, also what is the basic things like you should know what is displacement or AR what is displacement uh, then what is distance okay this place you guys know what is the difference between displacement and distance so if there are two points point a and b the shortest distance will be this will be displacement and if you are going to take a path that will be distance traveled okay this will be uh, distance traveled i'm gonna just write dist and this will be disp displacement okay so that is the shortest distance and uh, shortest part taken so you guys know which is a scalar quantity and uh, which is a vector quantity can somebody raise the hand and tell me quickly uh, displacement is a scalar quantity or a vector quantity anybody it, it let it be an interactive session let it not be uh, like vector, vector quantity so yes because it has a direction as well yes. so whenever so there's displacement is a uh, basically a vector quantity true and um, oh I uh, stop sharing the screen I guess and uh, distance is a scalar quantity uh, now what we are gonna do is uh, with respect to this we are gonna go to the next uh, phases after defining displacement and distance we are gonna go to the array R. what happened oh, I think my pointer went off sorry okay so after finishing displacement and distance we are going to the next part uh, two important terminologies which is speed uh, uh, velocity speed and velocity are two next important terminologies here and in this we talk about certain things called as average speed uh, average velocity then we talk about uh, we have one oh, sorry my pen sometimes certain times gives me this trouble uh, I need to erase this part. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. So average speed, average velocity, and we also talk about instantaneous. Instantaneous velocity and acceleration. So what is the difference between average speed and instantaneous speed? And similarly, yeah, we will go for velocity. What is the dif uh, difference? Can somebody tell me? What is the what is the difference between what is average speed? Sir, sir. Yeah. So, so basically, basically the uh, uh, instantaneous speed or uh, instantaneous acceleration is the acceleration or speed at the very small infinitesimal dis, uh, duration of time. So if I'm saying a motor's uh, a motorbike rider is riding his uh, ri riding in his motorcycle and he is driving with variable speed. So at the very instant that we record would be the instantaneous speed and the uh, uh, total duration that he has traveled in the total time taken would be the average speed of that yes so yeah. average speed is basically distance over time so speed DS is related DS. with respect to uh, uh, distance uh, with respect to time so when i write the formula what is the difference in average speed formula and instantaneous speed formula so let us say distance is uh, represented as uh, d and time is represented as small t let us just for time being we can keep that as uh, you know uh, symbols 
So what would be our, uh, the formula for average speed and what is the formula for instantaneous speed? Okay, okay. so the formula for instantaneous speed would be dh by dt. That yeah. would be the differentiation so of the equation. This as the... By, so this will be like total uh, distance divided by total time, right? Time, okay. yeah. So distance and divided by total time taken. So no, 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 for thing. instantaneous I'm saying. For, uh, for average it would be total Yeah, for average distance. it is total distance divided yeah. by total time. When it comes to instantaneous, what are we going to apply? We are going to hmm. apply certain thing called as limit. Yes, yeah, sir. Limits, delta yeah. d tends to zero. Uh, let us say this is delta d by delta t. Okay, so this will be uh, for when we apply limits. That is where uh, we see change in displacement by yes. change in time. That is instantaneous. Similarly, when it comes to velocity, so it will be displacement. Let us say uh, yes is the uh, symbol we use for displacement. Velocity, average velocity is total displacement by total time taken and uh, then the instantaneous uh, velocity will be applying limits delta t tending to zero delta s by delta t so this is speed velocity and one more important term is acceleration so one more important term what we are gonna uh, use in this particular chapter is acceleration you guys know what is acceleration rate of change of velocity is acceleration and similar idea of average and instantaneous uh, acceleration can be understood average and instantaneous acceleration so average acceleration will be a is equal to del change in velocity by change in time so when you write it with respect to instantaneous acceleration it will be uh, limits delta t tending to zero delta v by delta t sorry it went out of screen <laughs> okay uh, so this is basics right you guys know this so distance displacement you already have notes you can just glance through and make sure everything is there with you and whenever we write like for example delta x you know change in displacement it will be like initial position minus final position so when you're writing the formula uh, you should keep these uh, small small things in the head when you are doing the calculations so this is the basic terminology introduction to motion in 1D. Then we have very important thing called as equations of motions. Okay, right. Equations of motion. So what are the important equations of motion uh, ideologies we have? So when we talk about equations of motion, uh, we talk about the very basic equation, Newton's equations. V is equal to U plus AT. V is final velocity. U is initial velocity. A is acceleration. T is time. And S is equal to ut plus half at squared. Okay. And then we have v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. So these are the three equations of motion. So if I have to find displacement in nth second, there is one more equation which will be not there in your syllabus. So when you come to need, you need this, right? So what is that? If I have to find displacement for nth second, anybody knows what is the formula? So this is displacement for nth second. Anybody knows? So, 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 so basically, you uh, the like you can form I think five equations from these three. You can form two more out of them. Yes, but that that is just basically breaking those two equations. But basically, these are the four equations we would need. V is equal to u plus at. S is equal to mm -hmm. u plus half at squared. V squared equal to u squared plus two as, and s nth will be u plus Ooh. a by two two n minus two n minus one. one. So okay. these are the equations of motion uh, uh, that we uh, we use for accelerated. Like for example, this is basically uniform acceleration. This is applied for uniform acceleration. Okay, these formulas will be applied for the reason why I won't be doing any big big derivations. Okay, since this is neat related uh, teaching, so I'll be just going with formulas and uh, problems from neat question papers. That's it. Nothing else. No, nothing fancy. Okay, so this is how uh, we understand uniform uh, acceleration with respect to equations of motion. So what all we studied here with respect to limits now? What all we applied with respect to limits now? they all can be differentiated so for example velocity is dx by dt so you should know basic differentiation and integration before doing any problems acceleration will be uh, dv by 
rate of change of velocity okay all these basic things should be known to you we expect you to know this but if you have any difficulties you can always uh, ask me to do a class on that i'll be happy and you can also ask me those things in telegram too what all things you have difficulty i'll be helping you with those things okay uh, now uh, when we talk about equations of uh, motions for bodies falling under uh, gravity like free falling for example if i jump off the building what are the equations of motion of me jumping off the building okay so we will be uh, where is that i need not jump i guess are here so this is for falling under gravity falling under gravity what happens so to the equations of motion same equations of motion when i when it is falling under gravity v will be equal to u minus gt and can you tell me what this motion would refer to i will write all the three equations of motion one uh, is this and uh, instead of s i will write height because you are falling right uh, so h will be ut minus half gt square and v square equal to u square minus 2gh so basically s became h h stands for height okay w what is happening to this body in motion is it uh, vertically thrown upward or downward so the uh, so the object let us say instead of me let us say i have a ball is this body going upward or downward sir so this is going upwards very good this is upward motion because u is being applied and that is considered as a positive uh, yeah. reference and one more motion. one more thing is this negative sign yeah the negative sign is also negative yeah, sign also indicates mm -hmm. u minus gt na this negative yes, sign sir. says we are taking that as a reference frame yes sir. yeah it is going against gravity minus g negative g represents it's going against the gravity okay then for downward motion let us say if you want to if you say downward motion are my pen let us say it is downward motion so what will be the equations of motion the fresh equations v is equal to u plus gt okay and the second equation will be h is equal to ut plus half gt square. square then the third equation is v square equal to u square plus g h okay so th these are the equations and uh, this is for uh, downward part so these three equations went for downward part of the equation so you can see uh, the g is being positive in this direction let us say uh, if an object is dropped from some height okay uh, so the initial velocity will be zero for such cases if the object is dropped from certain height if they use the word uh if the where is my pen where okay okay here it is oh my god i can't find my pen okay if the object if the object at ar if the object is dropped from certain height whenever they use the word dropped from certain height dropped from certain height that means u will be equal to zero keep that ideology in head okay then all the equations will move accordingly uh, then for fast calculations during meet you can't um, you know you will have many number of formula so what i ask you to do is if you have a bit of uh, writing okay somebody joined in let me sorry for interruption i think somebody joined uh, just have to okay. so i'm sorry <laughs> i opened some other file as i was saying if the object is for a drop from certain height then u is zero then what happens is uh, for fast calculation we need certain uh, mathematical uh, rules for example uh, maximum height attained by a particle thrown upward so for such uh, things oh, my pen went off again uh okay so for such things h will be so for a uh, maximum height of a particle 
so the ca uh, formula will be h will be u squared by 2g for quick calculations you can rearrange these terms and uh, v will be equal to uh, root 2g h so from the above equation if the velocity when u is there when the when the particle is about to strike the ground okay these are the equations we, you can use and time of collusion to the ground small t all these things you can do quick calculation root 2h by g so these are some of the three uh, formulas that could be useful for whenever you are studying for NEET the main thing is time okay time is one important thing that is always necessary so with respect to that context so we started with terminologies motion falling under gravity and then uh, uh, okay someone else joined I need to figure out a way for people to join automatically maybe from next class onwards <laughs> okay i will do that from next class onwards uh, okay i think this is an extra slide okay so these are the important uh, equations okay people keep okay okay so this is how uh, uh, we understand uh, gravity equations any doubts so far you can ask me so we have uh, completed this many things and there will be graphical questions for that later i will be giving you form along with this formula list i will be giving you some chota notes which i will uh, send it to you in telegram so from there you can study for this particular chapter so in me you won't have any uh, i request you guys to please mute it okay so <laughs> in neat you won't have any big derivations so we started with terminology uh, yeah okay all right so this is how we pan out let us solve some problems okay solving problems is very 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 important right so let us start by solving some uh, differentiation related questions and then to, uh, slowly uh, take our way so this is from neat question paper 2017 let us start with i'm i'll be just doing neat question papers no other questions maybe some gifmer and some uh, aims questions because they you now gifmer aims are uh, put in need so uh, you will be needing that uh, in that context okay so let's go so this is from need 2017 question paper need uh, 2017 question paper let us solve a problem so there are uh, you can just write down the question i'm gonna just write down what is there in it you guys i'll just dictate the question and uh, write down the equations and given things and then give you options then we will solve the question okay uh, please start writing the x and y coordinates the x and y coordinates of a particle at any time are of a particle at any time are x will be equal to so both are small x and small y only at any time r x is equal to 5t minus 2t squared and y and y will be equal to 10t respectively where uh, this x a, x and y are in meters where x and y are in meters and t is in seconds and t is in seconds full stop the acceleration of the particle the acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds is the acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds is okay this is the question so options are option a 0 option b 5 meter per second square option c minus 4 meter per second square option d minus 8 Array. sorry it's okay let me just think this is a scratch okay minus 8 meter per second square please solve this and know the answer okay someone else joined okay 
there is a limitation for Google Meet, I guess. Okay. Anyway. <coughs> so we will solve this. Please solve this. And tell me what is the answer. Someone else joined? No. Okay. Oh, people are giving me answers. Let me okay so people are giving me answers <coughs> just thinking which question to go next okay I see some of the answers here so I think okay path has said C Hi, uh, Rohit, and uh, Rudra also has said C. If it is C, double the difference x y calculate the mag. Okay, so we can do that. And uh, now, since many of you have given the answers, we can solve this. Let me solve this. Well, let us go for this. Okay, so all the things are given in the question. <coughs> okay. So what are things is given? Velocity. My pen is here. Maybe I should use blue color. People will think it's danger. Velocity is dx by dt. Right. Velocity is displacement by time. We know this. X is given. 5t minus 2t squared. So you have to differentiate d by dt of 5t minus 2t squared. This is x bar n formula. If you do differentiation, we will be using uh, Ray R, where is my pen? Oh, it's there. If you do differentiation d by dx of x bar n formula, it should be n into x bar n minus 1. This is the major form, this is the main important formula we will be using it here. So, differentiation of phi t will be just 5 minus this will be how much? This will be 2 to the 4 n into uh, x bar n minus 1 no so it would be 4 t power 2 minus 1 which would be 4 t okay this is what we found it as vx okay and we have to find acceleration right so what will be uh, so we can go and find ax also so the, so this is vx so ax will be where is my pen here okay <laughs> maybe I am going blind ax is equal to dvx by uh, dt so take this vx differentiate it with time so differentiation of any constant number is 0 minus 4 times t is just 4 okay. so ax is just minus 4 and similarly you have to find y so a so y is basically 10t dy by uh, dt will give you vy which will be 10 and acceleration ay will be differentiation of any constant will be zero so the answer will uh, you will be uh, if you are wondering uh, what happens uh, to this particular answer will be so we know a total net acceleration will be ax i cap plus a y j cap so answer will come out as minus 4 meter per second squared plus zero so c is the right answer Okay, somebody's sharing something. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, if I want, uh, sir, I wanted to say it's not the addition; it's the magnitude of that. No, to get uh -huh. it because because there is an x and y. You need to calculate the magnitude of this. Yes, yes, this is magnitude with respect to x and y. So this is minus four uh, uh, i cap yeah. plus zero j cap. So, so we are talking four. with respect to magnitude only, it is minus 4 meter per second squared. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, that's how we do that problem. And, uh, okay. Now, uh, we are going to go ahead uh, with, so this was NEET 2017 problem. Now, let us do one more problem from NEET question paper, which will be NEET 2008 okay uh, you can write down the question just like the way we did it last time 
let me change the color of my pen okay so this is from need 2008 2008 question paper okay so the question here comes the question if the velocity of the particle is if the velocity of the particle is v is equal to a t plus b t squared if the velocity of the particle is a t plus b t squared where a and b are constants okay these two are uh, constants a and b are constants and uh, uh, then the distance traveled by it then the distance traveled by it between between one second and two second is and the distance traveled by it between one second and two second is so options are option a 3a plus 7b option b, uh, 3 by 2a plus 7 by 3b let somebody join i guess you guys keep on solving i'll just admit that person okay then okay the third part then option c is a by 2 plus b by 3 then option d is 3 by 2 a plus 4b okay this is the question solve Solve and tell me what is the right answer. It's very simple. <coughs> oh, I have not shared the screen, is it? Sorry. If I forget to share the screen, please do tell me, guys. Done. Shivangi says, okay, Parth Shivangi have given and Yash have given answers as B. Three people have given B as answers. Sh uh, Sharik has raised the hand. Okay, just a uh, second, Sharik. I'll, let us finish this problem and I'll take the questions at the end. Okay, so let us solve this question. Now let us solve this. Uh, so the velocity is given, right? So we know velocity is displacement by time, dx by dt. So this is we can call it as x already. Okay, velocity is dx by dt. Okay, now what we are gonna do is so velocity is given. So dx by dt will be equal to a t plus b t square okay so now integrate uh, now what you can do is you can split these variables so what we are trying to integrate here because ultra concept of differentiation so dx will be equal to uh, a t plus b t square and we are making sure all the t terms come on one side because you are differentiating all the t terms here a and b are anyway constants so integrate both sides you integrate both sides so x will be equal to a integration of t will be t squared by 2 and in b you can keep it as it is and integration of t squared will be t cube by 3 so what formula we use integration of t power n dt will be equal to uh, t power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 this is the formula we used here all right and there are limits they are saying one second to two second is the limit so we can apply the limit so uh, this will be upper limit is two and lower limit is one upper limit is two one 
so upper limit minus lower limit we know right so this will be what i'll go to the next slide so when we apply the limits x will be equal to a by 2 uh, into 2 squared upper limit minus 1 squared okay because it was t squared now so that's the reason square is coming plus b by 3 into 2 cube minus 1 cube the reason why cube so square came because there is square where is my pen yeah okay square came because there is square here and cube came because there is cube here upper limit minus lower limit we are just applying it in t t as values in t value we can put it as 2 and 1 in that equation upper limit minus lower limit so it will be x is equal to a by 2 which is 4 minus 1 which is 3 plus b by 3 2 cube 8 minus 1 is 7 right so it will be equal to 3a by 2 plus 7b by sorry it was 3 here my writing error 7b by 3 so this is the answer so the correct option is option b so majority of you got it correct very good okay let me stop sharing and let me stop recording